Hello, I'm Gordon Stone, Mayor of the Town of Pike Road, and it continues to be a blessing and a privilege and an honor to serve as your mayor. Thank you, Pike Road, for this opportunity, and thank you so much for being the kind of community where engagement and, and connectivity is evident everywhere we look. You know, we do these weekly updates so we can help you to stay informed about things going on in Pike Road. And one of the first things we want to do is remind you that we're following the governor's recommendation as it relates to the current status of our COVID-19 circumstances, which means there's no mask mandate in Pike Road. We do ask, however, that you recognize that individual businesses or buildings may have a certain request. And if they do, please respect their request because we want to do everything we can do to continue to be safe, to be smart, and to do the things that build confidence. Now, we know that maintaining social distance and having a mask handy if you're in a dangerous, crowded environment, or even just practicing cleanliness, those are habits we've developed over the last year that are good habits for us to continue to think about as we continue to move to the day where COVID-19 is completely in the past. Also remind you that vaccines continue to be available. Stay tuned to your local media outlets as they will continue to let you know where you can access those uh, that are distributed either by the state health department or by individual businesses. We want to work together and get past this pandemic. And we also want to remind you that we have a lot of fun things going on in Pike Road in the spring. And this next month is just another example of that. Now we're moving through April and April has been a huge success for our spring cleanup. Thank you so much for all of the communities and the businesses and the organizations that have said we want to help and have gone by Town Hall, or gone by Founder Station, picked up your packet and gone out and helped us keep Pike Road beautiful. We are so thankful for those of you who have already participated and we remind you, if you have a group that you want to go uh, and participate, then just contact us. You can go to uh, info at pikeroad.us and email us and, and get answers to your specific questions about just how to participate. Or just stop by Town Hall and they'll tell you just exactly what you need to do. In addition, our Arts Council is busy finishing up the It Isn't Easy to Be Green program. What a special program for spring. And I hope that if you haven't had a chance, you'll go by and check them out this weekend as they close the book on that wonderful artistic illustration of how to use the color green. And then be ready because on May 7th, the 5x7 program debuts. And this is a repeat program because they've had so much success in showcasing what you can do with a 5x7 print or a 5x7 photo. So check them out. Go to pikeroad.us, find out about the 5x7 program that'll be here before you know it. On April 19th, we continue to be available to answer your questions. It's Mondays with the Mayor, and you can text us your questions, or you can call in, or you can let us know ahead of time. We want to be available so that we can be the most communicated town in the entire state. We want to do everything we can do to be available for you. So Mondays with the Mayor on April 19th. And then as we go forward, we have a great array of programming that, that you can continue to find out about by just going to, to our website. Make sure that you check out the website and learn about all the things that are available for you. One of those things that we don't want you to forget is our blood drives. We do these periodically so that we can work as a great partner with LifeSouth. And LifeSouth has a unique opportunity to keep the blood local, which helps our first responders, which helps our hospitals and all of our healthcare providers. So if you would like, go online, register, and be a part of the blood drive on April 29th. Now, as we think about all the many things that are going on in our community. Schools are coming to the end of their, their semester. We have so much to be thankful for in the way our teachers and our parents and our students and everybody has worked together through this past year. It's been an amazing accomplishment. Thank you so much. We continue to think about our health care providers and what you continue to do for us, particularly those volunteering at these vaccine clinics. Thank you so much for what you're doing. We are so thankful for our churches and how you continue to work together throughout Pike Road with our prayer team and all that you do. We appreciate our agriculture and, and stewardship group because you continue to find new ways to take advantage of our natural resources like our trail system and, and, and all the things that it offers. And we encourage you, if you're out there and you want to be a part of one of those organizations, jump on board. Go to pikeroad.us and check them out and then email us and let us know you want to volunteer to be a part of those great groups that we have getting together on a regular basis. We want to also 
conclude this week by saying thank you to Publix. Thank you to all the others who are going to occupy buildings there around Publix. Thank you to our local businesses that are located in, in our different town centers. Thank you so much for all you do to make Pike Road a place where we can shop local. And we encourage you to continue to search out, find, identify, and support our local businesses. Pike Road, it is a blessing and an honor to be your mayor. And during this time, we will continue to pray for you, and we ask that you pray for each other.